Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the How to Build series where we're going through every single champion in the game, rare and above, and I'm putting together a quick reference guide for newer players, beginner players who have a little less experience than I do, and just feel like they need a little guidance on how to put some gear on them, where to use them, and what I think about them as a whole. Uh, I won't be going into masteries and later game stuff because that's things that you'll figure out over time and then get a little convoluted and specific. So uh, for now, I just want to get you headed in the right direction with a champ if you feel like you need a little guidance. So, Let's go ahead and get into it with uh, Justicer. A little bit of a debate around the community about how to pronounce his name, but uh, I'm, I'm going Justicer. He is a Void Sacred Order champ. Now before I get into anything about him, before I talk about him at all, he is fusion food for Relic Keeper. So if you're really early in the game and you don't have Relic Keeper yet, I'm going to say this dude probably just needs to be fusion for Relic Keeper. I would imagine, unless there's something insane in this dude's kit, that Re Relic Keeper is going to be way more important to you than this dude. So uh, let's let's get into his his skills and see if I'm wrong. Looking at his stats, he's a defense champ. A pretty okay base defense. Okay enough base HP. Low base speed. Nothing really overwhelming in his stats, but you know, pretty pretty standard for a rare, I guess. Not not too, too bad. I mean, the defense is nice, don't get me wrong. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. First skill, attacks one enemy, increases this champion's defense by 3% up to 10 times in one round. Up to 10 times in one round. Okay, so what I'm not sure, I, usually what they'll do with skills that have these types of mechanics is they'll let you know whether or not it carries across rounds. So for instance, if you're in a campaign stage and he gets full stacks in the first round, it'll let you know, do the stacks carry to the next round? And then he can stack 10 more times in, in that round? Or, or does he stack up to 10 times and then that's it? Or do the stacks reset every round? I'm not real sure how the mechanics on this work, what it sounds like based on this is that he can stack 10 times in one round, then go to the next round and stack another 10 times. That's what it sounds like. But again, there's, I feel like there's a little bit of wording missing here. So I don't really know what to think about that skill. It is a, it's cool. I like, I like the idea of it. It does scale off defense a little bit. I'd, I'd prefer that it just scale off defense, but um, scaling off attack and defense is fine because then he'd be getting a lot stronger every, with every stack, right? So, uh, I unfortunately don't have the answer. I feel like they just need to add a little more wording to that skill as, as they do some of the other skills in the game. Second skill, attacks one enemy, has a 50% chance of placing a provoke debuff on the target for one turn. Again, scales off of defense and attack. And skilled up can get to a two turn cooldown, so he's got a two turn provoke. That's not bad. That's that can get that can get useful. Uh, it, the scaling off defense and attack thing. I do get lots of artifacts that, that give me want to give me attack percentage and defense percentage for some reason. Uh, I don't think it would be impossible to gear them up for this, but um, it it would be. I th I think so far I think I would think a lot higher of him if he only scaled one defense. Passive. When this champion is hit with a critical hit. Counterattacks using their default skill and decreases the buff duration on the target by one turn. So when he gets hit with a crit, he's going to use the skill, which is going to stack his defense up more. So he's going to get stronger every time. He's, he's going he's to get tougher every time he gets a critical hit, and he's going to get stronger because he's going to get to keep using the skill. So there's there's nothing I can think of off the top of my head where he would just be amazing. I guess he's got some utility in longer arena fights as like a good tank. He can, he can hit the provoke and then if people are critting him, he'll be coming back with the first skill, which will be making him tougher and stronger. And the longer the fight goes on, the, the better that's gonna get. But he's gonna have to have a healer to keep him in the fight. Especially if he's having to take critical hits to proc this passive. Two turn provoke. So yeah, I guess a little bit of arena utility. Perhaps some campaign utility. He could be a nice tank on an arena team. He has void. He'll never be at a disadvantage. So. Which 
no one will ever have advantage, so no one will ever be critting on him on a super regular basis unless they just have super high crit. Yeah, I think short of maybe a little bit of like fun arena utility and longer fights. I can't really think of where he would be amazing. Not in clan boss. I guess in dungeons he could be okay. Campaign he could be okay. I think I think kind of what I'm feeling about him is he's just kind of okay, unfortunately. Which actually is nice because again he's relic keeper fusion. So you don't want to have to be be going through all the work to make him and then feed him to Relic Keeper if he was really good. So maybe that's the point. I don't know. Uh, I think even though he's a void... Well, let's talk about gear first. So obviously gear, he scales off defense and attack. We're probably going to want a little more defense on him because his defense is going to scale. So uh, defense sets, attack sets, and then the stats you're looking for are either attack percentage, defense percentage, and then if you want to put some speed on the boots, go ahead and go for it. Now he's got a passive that's going to be kind of getting him in the fight a little more often whether or not he's got speed. And and he's got provokes he's he's going to be throwing out. So you can put speed on the boots if you like. I don't I don't know that I think it's mandatory for him. But really the stats you want to be looking for on him are I guess defense percentage and HP percentage. You want him to be tanky. Attack percentage and then some accuracy and speed. So like you know, I guess you could scrap the HP and not go for a ton of it, but the problem there is when he gets hit with a defense break, he's going to get wiped quick, right? So that's generally the problem with defense champs is that you have to put some HP on him as well because when that defense gets cut in half, they're now super vulnerable. So he also scales off attack. So, he, I mean, not only is he not that great, but he's also really stat hungry. He needs HP, attack percentage, defense, or HP, attack, defense, and accuracy, because if he's not landing the provoke, what's the point? And then you also want to try to find some speed on him. So he's he's pretty mediocre in my opinion, and he's very stat hungry. Uh, there's there's probably going to be better options than him in just about any team you're putting together. I think even though he's void, I'm going to go with like a f four. I don't even think he's average, to be honest. I, I would I wouldn't I wouldn't. I wouldn't put all my stock in him. That's what I'm, I, would, I wouldn't put all my resources in him. I would, I would get him ready to, to feed the Relic Keeper and move on. Relic Keeper is going to be much more useful for you than, than Justicer. So that's it. Those are my thoughts on Justicer. If you have any questions, drop them below. Any comments. Maybe you're using him. You think he's better than I said, worse than I said. You're using him for some things I didn't think about. Uh, we would love all that information in the comments. It's always appreciated. If you want to try to catch me on Twitch, uh, it's twitch.tv slash jgigs. Just come over, try to catch me live, and hang out, ask me questions there. Other than that, I hope this was helpful. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.